Thanks, Eric and Courtney. Thanks so much for having me on again on Houston Life today. I'm always so excited to share my tips and tricks for incorporating more plant-based meals and plant-based options into your daily routine, whether you're plant-based or not. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to cook migas completely plant-based, three ingredients, three easy steps. Let's get started. So first things first, you're gonna need some store-bought pico. Put your knives down, head to the store, in the grocery produce section, there's always gonna be pre-chopped pico. You could always use your favorite chunky salsa if you had that on hand. But that's step one, ingredient one. Ingredient two, you're gonna need corn tortillas, regular old corn tortillas, white or yellow, doesn't matter. I've got white here today. And last but not least, the star of the show, give it a good shake. You will need Eat Just Just Scramble. This is a completely plant-based egg substitute. It's made from the protein derived from mung beans. It's got seven grams of protein, no cholesterol, lower saturated fat, lower carbon footprint, and it's how we're gonna make our migas plant-based today. So I already have my pan on low heat right now. I'm gonna add about a third of a cup of the pico right into the pan. So tip one, don't chop the veggies yourself, get store bought. Tip two, and how this is another way we're making this healthier. Traditionally, migas, you always start by frying the tortillas, but you really don't need to do that, and you'll save a lot of fat, unnecessary calories, unnecessary saturated fat, by avoiding that step. So I simply just take a tortilla and rip it apart. It's very home style and rustic this way. And I use one tortilla per serving. And that is all you need to do. Again, like I said, couldn't be simpler. Go ahead and turn up the heat just a little bit. And now to add the just egg. So I'm using a half a cup. And I'm gonna pour that and you can see it's a liquid egg product, just like, kind of like those egg beaters if you're familiar with that. I'm gonna give it a good seasoning of a little salt and a little black pepper. And you're gonna cook it just like a traditional chicken egg. You just keep scrambling and scrambling until it's not liquid anymore. It really couldn't be simpler, like I said. Actually, a study that came out in July of this year, which looked at by substituting plant-based protein sources for eggs, it reduced people's risk of death from heart disease by 20%. So it's really incredible. We all know the benefits of plants. And actually, my husband, who's had an egg allergy his whole life, and has scrambled eggs for the first time. So it's really great for those people too. So we're gonna keep scrambling and scrambling. And then what we're gonna end up with is these fluffy, delicious migas. And I'm gonna take a bite here. I've got it with some black beans, some hot sauce, some avocado. Mm. I really wish I was in studio with you guys today. I think you would be completely blown away, Derek and Courtney, by how this tastes just like chicken eggs. It's crazy, but you know it's healthier for you. You've got wholesome beans, healthy fats, and um, I really hope you guys give this recipe a try, and I hope you have a better breakfast this month.